Hello everyone, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. In the last one, we finished episode two. It was amazing. I had like a day to ponder it and I just went the whole day like thinking about how great it was. And now it looks like it's time to start a new one. Turnabout Big Top. Is this like going to be a circus thing? I swear to God if it is. I don't even remember the last time I even saw a circus. I think I was maybe four. Let's do it. Turn about, big top. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show, of course. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. Amazing. Oh my god. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. The world's greatest magician. He looks like a dude from Persona 5. The one, the only, Maximilian Galactica. It's Tuxedo Mask! Wow, look at this! This is so cool! This is very Japanese. <gasps> Ta da! Wow, I'm impressed. Alright. Very cool. Wait, that's it? We didn't see anyone horribly killed or anything. What? What? We usually like see a murder or something really bad. Like the last one was a car accident and it was pretty bad. All right, the big circus. Here we go. Pearly! I must have taken her to the circus, eh? Oh, that's nice. Wow, that was like living a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. Hehe, <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Pearly? It was great. There is a dancing bear. And a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire. An elephant who rode a giant ball. Not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Oh my god, look how cute and happy Pearl looks. <gasps> She's so darling now. Well, is she going to hang out with us now? I was wondering what would happen afterwards since Morgan, I think, is in jail. Or at least being questioned. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh? What? Max? Max Galactica, the world's greatest magician. A mad magic -ition? No, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick? Huh? What is it, Pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? Uh, maybe you shouldn't ask me. Maybe you should ask Maya instead. I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, Pearls? I'm sorry. It's okay, darling. You'll learn. Oh, isn't she darling? I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. Oh, Phoenix, that's nice of you. It's been six months since the incident in Karain Village. Oh, wow. So quite a lot of time has passed. It was during that terrible time I met pearls. That's right. But how is her mother? Do we find out about that? It seems like she's starting to get back to normal. Well, that's good. Ah, it's time to go. And I'm assuming that Maya is still, like, our... Our helper, right? No? You're right, we can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remember the train? Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's gotta be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. Nick don't want to clean. You're going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I'm glad you'll get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Damn it, Pearl! You troll. Stop that. Pearl! Look, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Goodbye, darling. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. Phoenix, it will, of course. Don't worry. What could happen? Not another car accident where a sister pretends to be another sister. That could not happen twice. Well, today wraps it up for this year. I hope I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. Oh. Oh, I wanted to hear it. I need to switch my phone to that. Hello, this is the Wright and Company Lawton. Nick, it's terrible! Oh, what happened now? Ah, oh, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here, too. Huh? The office is a terrible mess, and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, uh, my dirty office? What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. Oh, what happened now? The last time we did this, something happened with the Steel Samurai. Now, let's check in at the scene. Huh? 
What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very- I mean, the Berry Big Circus? That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a murder. Yeah, they arrested him too? A arrested who? Max! They arrested Max Galactica! Did they really? The dude that looked like Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> if he was in Persona. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Yeah, he was, he was something. Wow, look at that. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Wait a minute, this happened with the Steel Samurai too. And Maya was a big fan of him too. So basically she's cursed. Anyone she likes gets in trouble. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to catch on here. All right, Nick, I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh, what? See you there. You still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? Uh, I guess we're not getting that help. But first. Charlie, how you doing, darling? You doing okay? Charlie, a quite decorative plant. I wouldn't mind his help cleaning this place up. Oh, Charlie, can I water you a little? Okay, fine. Uh, do we have anything in the record right now? Just the badge, the Magatama. Do we have any profiles? Just Maya. Okay, we're good. I guess let's go then. Ugh. Well, this is starting off quickly, actually. December 28th. Right. What's this dude gonna be about then? What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? You're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Wait a minute, isn't that what you said about the Steel Samurai? Oh wait, he was also innocent though. Okay, fine. <gasps> fabulous! What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl, such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? Oh my god! Wow! What up, darling? Holy crap. <laughs> he really is a persona dude, isn't he? Welcome to the visitor's room! You don't have a shirt on, I like you already. It's Max, Nick! Look at the real Maximilian Galactica! Alright, sweetie, pick a card, any card. <laughs> he called me sweetie! Oh, Nick! All right, get get your pants back on. This we gotta. Aren't we here for a job? Oh, Jesus, this dude really is kind of fabulous, though, isn't he? Holy crap, girl! Who does your hair? Holy crap! <laughs> Time's running out, my sweetie. Pick a card, any card. You gonna pick one, Maya? This one. Uh huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. Oh my! You must have a lot of cards to go through. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, he got it, he got it. Nick, look, he got it. Uh-huh, that's very interesting. What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. How many you got? Are you like an octopus or something that has like 10 million? I don't know. Well, time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I should make them I should make them sound like the Ab Fab ladies. Has anyone ever watched Absolutely Fabulous? It's really good actually. Max, you should let Nick pick a card. Oh, uh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. <laughs> oh. It's okay. Oh, and you are? Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her driver? Whatever. Hurry up and pick a card. Any card? Uh, I want this one. So, sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yeah, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, uh, what about my card? Think of it as a souvenir. Uh-huh. Where are you hiding all them cards if you don't even have a shirt? That's what I want to know. That's magic for sure. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. Why do you always rope me into these things? What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. I mean, that's a that's important. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Uh, pardon me? Shower me with your attention, okay? Uh... Yes! Oh my goodness. Absolutely fabulous! Oh my, I don't even know what to say about this. I love him, and I'm still unsure at the same time. <laughs> Absolutely cringe-inducing. That too, but I don't care. 
It, no. I don't give a crap. Fine. Alright, we talked to a starlin. Uh, you're gonna get tired with your arms sticking out like that, I'm just letting you know. Unless you're- maybe- oh, maybe he's trying to like hold hands with me through the glass, like an E.T. kind of thing? Okay, I get you. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. <laughs> Fabulous! I think we should get to know each other better too. What- <laughs> do cards come out of him just any time he says anything? That's like so wasteful. Why don't you come sit next to me? Um, because you're in jail. <laughs> Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus, what in the world? What? What? Wait, what? Did his voice just change? Sweet Jeebus. That doesn't seem very fabulous. Also, I really like the sprite. Oh my god, look at him sweating. Yeah, girl. Man, you've just- He's got endless cards. Those better be, like, biodegradable. If only I could use magic, then I could make this wall disappear. Is his voice supposed to be changing now? It seems almost like. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, lately... Oh, sorry, that's Phoenix. Lately, you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays. They get their panties all in a bunch over nothing. I've, I'm sure that you're right about this. He is wearing panties. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently. Did you not? I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was fab. I mean, it was an amazing day. Can we talk about your bust and why you don't have a shirt on? No? Okay, I guess the in jail you don't have to have a shirt. It's not necessary. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. Nope. All right, the Berry Big Circus, tell me. You're assigned to an exclusive contract with the Berry Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. I just love how we get the psh every time <laughs> we talk to him. This is amazing. You just can't watch a magician on TV, you know? Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur, a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract? Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Yes, very wonderful. Yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Oh no. Dude, don't be rude. So the dude's full of himself. I mean, obviously. Seems nice enough, but... One of those. Tell me what happened at the very big circus. Ah, last night the ringmaster was murdered. The ringmaster, huh? The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? About everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I see. I saw him that night, in his room. Oh, it was that kind of contract, was it? Wait, maybe not. <laughs> so then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Does he not realize that he's been taken? Or is he delusional? Okay, I'm gonna go with delusional. Nick? I don't think Max understands how serious this is. Yeah, you think? She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. How are we gonna do that? Okay, meeting with Russell. Right. Before the murder, you met with the ringmaster? Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Oh, okay, so it was that kind of contract. I'm getting somewhere. And I'm not judging you. I just need to know the facts. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing. Small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. I wouldn't really call that small talk. In fact, that pretty much pins you with some kind of motive. <laughs> salary? I am the one bringing in all of the crowds to the circus. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. Maya! That's all you talked about? 
Of course, it was a fabulous chat. Oh, oh my god, we have a psych lock already? You lying. Also, girl, where are your pants? Wait, you don't have pants on either? <laughs> oh my god. Um, maybe it's hot in here, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure I saw a hip bone just then. Fabulous, why does he have to keep saying fabulous? Three already, huh? Three out the gate. Well, surely we can't do anything about that yet. We don't have anything, do we? <laughs> right. Um... Well, I hang on. Well, alright, is there anything I can present? Well, I know one thing I'm gonna do right now. Hey, hey, you seem to like shiny things, and you probably absolutely like things that are shaped like a booty hole, so look at this badge. What is that badge? It used to be in a disappear- Oh, is it used in a disappearing act? Might be. I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? Because you need one. He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're- Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Uh, what? Did he really not understand? Wait, is he gonna have a revelation right now because I showed him that? Anyway, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? <laughs> Why you don't need to have pants or a shirt in jail? I was thinking the same thing myself. Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested for murder! Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means? I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? You're not above the law. Max? Oh, quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. Wait, what? Uh, not yet. There's glass between us. But I mean, if that's what you're into, maybe I can get you out of here. Like, once I consider you innocent, maybe. No? Maybe we could hook up? I mean, Phoenix is, is ready for everyone. Anyone. Basically anyone. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. He really didn't know? What an idiot. <laughs> Look at Max, he's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. This is serious business. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, um, um, yes? Pork, you, I, I mean, sir, you're a lawyer, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm an attorney. <gasps> Please, help me. I didn't kill nobody. Oh, my God. Well, there goes Phoenix's boner. It's just gone. Absolutely gone. I don't know, some people like this look. It could be a thing. Yo, your fabulous makeup is running, darling. Be careful. Didn't kill nobody? I... I, I th still think by this alliteration that his voice changes. I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit. Is he southern? Like Lada? Who the hell would say that? But a killer? That's insane. I, 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 I could never. Max? I, I swear. I, I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. Hey, he back on the farm. I can't believe that. Oh, I didn't expect this. This is amazing. So he's like some corn-fed little farm boy become famous. Isn't that precious? Okay, okay, I'll take your case. Really? Really? Oh, oh thank you much. Y'all sure are nice folks. Oh my Christ. Max? Yeah? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johnson. <laughs> what? Is this real? This is amazing. <laughs> I like it already. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin? Look, a lot of, of a lot of the people we look up to are just regular people. You have to just come to terms with it. It's okay. It's all right. He oh, he's fixed his face. Well, he looks he looks delicious though. Can we just agree with that? Maybe you got to lose the stars on your face, but other than that, I'm totally with it. <clears throat> I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Huh? Mr. Attorney? Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Hmm, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How do you- He got it right again! What can I say, you two? You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. You sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? <laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? 
All right, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Well, I can't wait to start this. Are we done here? We probably are because I don't think I have anything to unlock psych locks with, do I? I'm gonna wait on that because we just started. There's no way. Can we go somewhere else now? Aha! Here we are. Let's go do this first. All right. Well, there he is. Obviously, they're touting him as the big guy because he's got the big sign. We're here again. Yep. But this time, we're here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Oh, it's Gumshoe here. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, should we examine something here? Let's just take a look real quick and see. Look! Look! It's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, he's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says Barry Big Circus. But looking around, it might as well be Cirque du Galactica. The stars on his cheeks sure are dreamy. Oh, really? Nah, I wasn't, I wasn't a fan. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. Uh, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, anything here? It's a snack stand. They have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention... Candy and popcorn! They've even got snow cones! <gasps> well, I want every I want one of each, actually. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? Oh my god, I do! Okay, is anyone else like me? In the winter time is when I crave, like, ice cream or milkshakes or, like, slushies and snow cones the most. Is that weird? I don't know, maybe it's weird. Nick, do you think we can buy some snow cones? Look around, there's tons of snow piled up around here. Yeah, but you can't eat it. People walked all over it. Yay! Wait a second! There's no syrup, though! I want syrup! Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not syrup. Oh, gross. Where? I'm gonna look at it. Oh, I don't think we can, actually. Fine. Hmm. This door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? Why did we get the bling for that? I guess we're gonna have to go through there at some point. <laughs> I bet all the stars stay at that lodging house. Is that where we have to go? All right, well, let's go ahead and see where we can go to. Lodging house, big top. I guess let's just go to the big top first. Oh, oh, look at this. This is the thing he flew out of and stuff. This looks cool. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? What the hell? Huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Uh, what is that? Oh my god. It's a tiger. T -t tiger Hello! Hi, friend, kitty. It's okay. Maybe I have, um, a treat. Like a friskies or something. He's coming this way! Oh no! Uh, kitty, I can be your friend. Wait, maybe I've got a mouse in my pocket. Ah! Um, are we dead? We died, didn't we? Well, game over. Nick, you're too young to die. Nick! Stay, stay, heal! I don't know who that is. Tiger, can you not sit on me, please? Uh oh, Maya, don't cry, it's okay. I've only been slightly maimed. I'm still here, I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? Wait, what? Who is this? Oh my word! Hello, pretty lady. <laughs> Rita is such a cute tiger, isn't he? Wow. Hello, darling. N they, they're speechless. What's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter, me? Nick, he almost died there. Ha, huh, he wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? I guess. Oh, she's awful cute and sparkly, isn't she? She looks like a magical girl. What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Woohoo! Your costume! Uh? It's cute. I want to try it on. Um... <laughs> Good costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? I don't know how old she is. It seems like she's a young teenager. Uh, I guess not. Really? <laughs> You're the best. 
Oh, she's she's adorable. Wow, the tables turned quickly on that one. So much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Regina Berry. It's Regina, probably. Uh, Regina is actually a, a, a place in Canada that I was literally just reading about, which is why I said that. Might be. It's obviously Regina. The renowned animal tamer of the Berry Big Circus. My name's Maya Fey. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, I bet we really look odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. She's so cute! What do I even do? Well, first I'm gonna talk to her. Wait, no, first. Look at this badge! You like shiny stuff, right? You, I mean, you seem to just sparkle inside out. Let's do it. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong place. Present. Present the badge. Yes. What about this? What can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. But wait, are you sure? Wait, oh. <laughs> really, you too? I understand exactly what you mean. I never expected Maya to make a new friend in a strange place like this. They're so adorable. All right, fine. All right, darling. Wait, Regina Berry, is it her father that's been killed? She seems awfully happy for that to have just happened. Unless it's like her uncle or something. Hey, Regina, what do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Um... Okay. I can't imagine how hard this must be for you. Oh, that was insensitive. That's right! The ringmaster was your- Yep. The ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. Why are you talking so slow? Why do you say you're sorry? What? Eh? Anyways, everyone was here practicing last night. Even your dad? Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent, so she was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. When they took me to check things out, Dad was dead. For someone whose father was just murdered, she seems awfully perky. Yeah. Oh, she's not the bad guy, is she? Hmm. All right, tell me about yourself, darling. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary, he's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yeah, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you. I know, she's so cute, isn't she, Phoenix? So Phoenix said, I want her to talk about her dad. Um, so do I just have to- do I have a profile or something? Oh! Here they all are. Oh, here he is. He looks a little bit like Eggman, but not really. Eggman in a different universe where he's nice. Alright, let's do this. The victim and ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Regina Berry's father. After practice was over, Dad went right back to his room. His room? Yes. That door right over there leads to the ringmaster's room. Hmm. I don't know why, but he went off to his room in a hurry. I wonder what happened. The ringmaster's room. It's probably a good idea to check it out for myself. Is that it, darling? What can you tell me about him? Do you know him? It's Max! Hey, where is Max now anyways? You don't know? No. He's been arrested. He was charged with the murder of your father. It's okay. Nick and I will help him. Max isn't the guy, is he? I mean, the criminal? Of course he's not. I'm worried about so many things right now. You don't look it. You look great. Like what? <laughs> um... Okay. Well, we're gonna have to find more about this in the next one. Jeez, this is already throwing me for a loop. I guess we just have to meet everybody and see how it plays out. I hope you guys will join me for the next one. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.